Hi friends, this is Vamsi again. So, okay, no problem. So, oh, sorry guys. I'd like to share my screen and show you something. I don't know if my VMs will survive or not. If it get crashes, if it get crashed, I can't help you much. But hopefully, if it works, then I can show you something. So as I said uh, in my previous video, I just configured side to side VPN between Oracle Virtual Box. Uh, VMs and my Azure VM. So this is how it looks. There are no databases whatsoever on both of them. So my Oracle VMs are running on 2019, whereas the SQL missions are running on 2017. So I have a database backup here. So I'm tr just trying to restore that. I think it is adventure works what I have. Uh, let me check once. I think it is on T drive. Yeah, Adventure Works 2017. So I'm just restoring it. I'm just restoring to F drive. So once this is done, I will try to perform import export between the on prem. When I'm saying on prem, it is like it's nothing but my Oracle virtual missions, uh, which are part of Contoso.com, and my Azure virtual mission, which is part of MCTS.com. Okay, so imagine now I need to perform a DAC pack or a backpack, whatever it is, or even import export for that matter. Let's see if that works or not. Uh, so I'm going to management and I'm trying to connect. I'm importing the data. So let me click next. If it works, fine. Otherwise, no problem. Uh, it is SQL Server Native Client and the server name is Site SQL 1. Site SQL 1. And I'm using SQL authentication just to rule out Kerberos uh, stuff. So let me check the database if I have any. AdventureWorks is the one what I want. And picking up that and the second, the destination, the target is my Oracle VM. Uh, it is SQL Server Native Client and I got the data populated automatically and it's not there. So I need to connect with SQL authentication. Uh, it's just testing guys, so going to master. Just one table, I just try to pick one table and see if that works or not. Copy the data, yes. So maybe I'll just go with person address. I don't know how many rows are there, let's see. Run that package immediately and next click on next and finish. And how many rows are there? Oh, we saw we got some good amount of rows, perhaps 19,614. That's enough for testing. And let's see if that table is there. There you go, we got the table. So a kind of import export between the on-prem and my Azure VM. And let's see if I want to create a login. Okay, so I wanted to test a login. So I wanted to uh, create one login, uh, which is part of uh, on-prem. So I wanted to create it here and see if that works or not. So let me click on new login. So I'm clicking on msts.com uh, domain, which is nothing but my Azure VM's domain, Azure VM domain. So I'm clicking on search. I have built the trust between the two domains. That's why you are able to see my mcts.com domain and contoso.com domain. So I'm picking up the contoso this time. And I think I created one service account over there. So it is SQL Server on-prem, I guess, yeah should be SQL Server on-prem. Uh, let me check the names. Okay, it's, it's not allowing me. Let me see what are the things what I have. Groups and service account, let me check the names. I'm not able to find, let me go with advanced and see if the, if I'm able to find this guy is SQL Server on-prem. Yeah, it is, sorry, SQL SVC underscore on-prem. That's why I'm not able to find the exact name. So, See, I am able to create the login from contoso.com, which is my on-prem, onto my Azure VM, which is part of mcts.com. Just creating the login, that's it. There you go. 
like this i can do any activity i can configure log shipping i can configure can we configure log shipping and see if that works maybe in my next class i will try because it's already 110 here so it's too too late for me so i'm winding off it's just a quick demo so like this i wanted to test out many things so i created my on prem that is nothing but i mimicked the on prem environment by creating the site to site so now i can carry out always on i can carry out distributed availability groups i can carry out log shipping mirroring replication whatnot i can do anything okay so i'll try to do give my best if uh, if i encounter an, uh, any an errors um, i'm sorry for that so i'm not a network admin or storage admin or blah 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 i'm just a sql admin but i'm just trying out different things guys thanks for watching bye bye